Hello everyone, welcome to Go Get My Guru. In this video, we will be discussing about Python bytes and byte array. So before proceeding with the today's session, let's have a look at the agenda for today. So today's session, we will be covering the topics byte data type, byte array data type and what is the use of these byte and byte array data type. So let's get started with our first topic that is bytes data type. I hope all of you know the meaning of byte. So what is byte? Byte is nothing but unit of digital information. So byte is equal to 8 bits. That is 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. Now let's try to create a byte data here. For that I'll make use of variable called data and I'll use bytes method here and 4. So what is this now? bytes of 4 what does this denote this denotes we are going to create 4 bytes of data so now let's print this data so i'll make use of print function let's also print the type of this data i'll run this so here you can observe that in the first line we have got data and your x denotes a hexadecimal value here we are getting 00 because we have not mentioned any data in our program. So these are 4 bytes of data you have created or generated. Now when you try to print that type of that data it is telling that it is of type bytes. Now let's take a list of marks. So this is the list I am having. I want to convert this list of marks to bytes data type so how i can do that yes for that let's take a variable as new is equal to i'll give and let's make use of bytes method here so bytes of marks now i'll print type of new so let's comment all this now let's run this so here you can see that it has been converted to class bytes so the marks list has been converted now to byte types so how I can access now this, this can be accessed by for x in new print x. So now all the data has been printed out. Let's try to modify a element in this bytes of data. That is I'll say new of 0th element I'll change it to 100 and then now let's print new. Let's run and check what happens. So here you can see that we are getting type error. That is object does not support item assignment. That error was because once we have created a list in the form of bytes, we cannot add any elements to it. That means we cannot modify that list. That's why byte is called immutable. And let's try to give here a value as 256. Now let's run this program. So again you are getting an error telling that bytes must be in range 0 to 256. That is you can give only the values from 0 to 255. You cannot exceed the value 255 in bytes range. So let me give here 255. Now let's run this and check. So here we are getting class bytes. I hope you are clear with bytes now. That is bytes are immutable and bytes can represent values from 0 to 255. Now that we know what is byte data type, let's move on to byte array data type. So what is byte array data type now? So when you want to represent group of bytes, you can make use of this byte array data type. Let's first try to create a byte array data type. Let's try to create a byte array data. So first let's define the size of byte we want to create. So I'll define size as let's say 10 and I'll take one more variable data. I'll make use of byte array method here. So byte array of size. Now print this data. Let's run this. So here you can note that it is of type byte array and these are the data we are getting it is getting printed because we have not mentioned any value so it is giving us zero it is similar to byte data type 
so let's create a list here of let's take the same list of marks here so 10 20 30 and 40 now what i'll do is i'll take data is equal to byte array of marks so how we can print the data from this now byte array in a similar fashion what we have used for byte by making use of for loop for x in data print x so before this let's print the type of this data so let's comment these first run this so here you can note that we have got the byte array values and it is of class byte array here i'll make a little change now now let's try to change the element of this created byte array so i'll change data of 0 is equal to 100 so what i am doing here i am changing the zeroth element of this data let's print this now run this so here you can see that the first element has been changed from 10 to 100 so what you can infer from this you can infer that we can change the values in the byte array that means byte array is mutable whereas bytes are immutable i hope you are clear with the difference between bytes and byte array data type and now let's check the range of values what we can give for this byte array suppose here i'll again take 256 so let's run this again you are getting the same error that byte must be in range 0 to 256 byte array also can only represent values till 255 not exceeding the values 255 i hope all of you are clear with bytes and byte array so let's move on to our third topic that is use of byte and byte array so most of you may be having a doubt most of the time we will not use these byte and byte array data type very frequently in our program so what is the use of learning this whenever you are handling binary data that time you can use this byte and byte array data types for example if you are working with images videos or audio files definitely you have to use these types of data in your programs i hope all of you are clear with the concepts we have discussed if you like our videos to support us leave us a feedback in the comment section have you subscribed to our channel if not request you to click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next session. Keep coding. Happy learning.